Good morning everyone. It's Tuesday 7th of September and here I am at the church. It's a special week this week. Um, so our church is open this morning and it is open for Guild Coffee Morning because this is Guild Week. Guild Week started with the, the National Guild gathering on Saturday and as this comes into focus I hope you will see that our Guild Notice Board is full of things that are happening this week, including the coffee morning, this morning, uh, talk on Wednesday, and then the quiz night is on Friday evening. So if you want to come along to that, then you'd be more than welcome. The Guild theme is basically let your light shine. Don't hide your light under a bushel. And the light that we shine um, helps other people to come alive at most times, so they don't know I'm doing this yet, but here we are. This is a Guild Coffee Morning, and there we have the wonderful raffle prize and all the wonderful cakes and coffee that are about to be served, and all, of course, beautifully wrapped, being very careful with what we're doing, and later on we'll be cake-filled by the Guild Coffee Morning. So the Guild are here. And the guild are, are working and people are beginning to gather for the coffee morning. So it's a big week and I'm going to move out of the clatter and the noise just to go into the Hall of Fellowship as we're welcoming people for the coffee morning. Let your light shine. Isn't that an amazing thing to think about? It's quite a, a common theme, a normal theme in church areas. Let your light shine. Use the gifts that God has given to you. Uh, don't hide things under a bushel. It's all very well being humble. It's all very well being careful with not boasting about what we do and what we are able to do. However, the world needs us to be shining, to welcome people and to be saying to folk, this is a place where you are welcome and where we will use our gifts to bring light and life to as many as we possibly can. Letting our light shine means that we let others see that light so that others will come to know the God that we worship and will come to know the life that we enjoy and come to know the calm, the deep peace that even in the midst of a world troubled and hurting, well, we do know that peace. We know that God is with us, has, has got us and that no matter the pain and the hurts, God will never let us go. Letting our light shine. Sometimes, however, it's just not that easy, is it? Because sometimes our lights really don't feel too bright or too glorious. And to be honest, we can't be on full beam all the time. And there's reasons why we can't be on full beam all the time. Partly because we need to be fed too and we need to replenish that light and re-energize from time to time. So we need to rest, we need to take time with God to worship and reflect. But also that if we are on full beam, then we're going to dazzle people. If we're on full beam all the time, when we're not really needing to be, then folk that we do pass by or come across will be maybe too dazzled and see things too brightly. That reminds me of your years ago. Remember the days we could travel abroad to places where there was sunshine? And this was a long, long time ago. A friend and I went to Crete. And we had to get up very early one morning to go for uh, one of those day trips. And it was about half past five in the morning. But it was, you know, it was very hot, very sunny. Um, and I'm a morning person, my friend, not quite so much. So I up and showered and ready first, and I was kind of waiting, ready to go, as my friend was actually just waiting up. She woke up, she turned over, she opened her eyes and almost screamed. I think the sight of the bright, bright, bright yellow T-shirt, along with the bright, bright, bright yellow shorts, <clears throat> maybe just too much for her. <laughs> I can't imagine why. But sometimes we can be just maybe too much, so we've got to... Be careful and not dim our lights, but just be careful how we shine our lights and where and when. Because we really do need to look after people. 
and look after people in such a way that our light will be helpful rather than a hindrance. The other aspect of that, of course, is that sometimes our light is not just that bright of the yellow t-shirt and the yellow shorts. Sometimes we can struggle a little bit too and our light dims a little bit as it needs to be renewed and re-energized. But we need to let that light be seen too because others need to know when we need some help. Others need to be aware of when we are perhaps struggling a little bit and need that phone call or that smile or whatever it is, the invitation to coffee and cake. But we need to be truthful enough, honest enough to at least let someone see that perhaps we're not shining as brightly as we'd like to be and want to be on that day. So the guilt theme, let your light shine. Um, and that, that means keeping those phone calls going. Remember, those phone calls are still required, no matter how few the restrictions are. We need to still be communicating, phoning, getting in touch with people. We need to make sure that folk are okay and to let others make sure that we're okay too. It's something we need to do together. So letting your light shine is important. Letting our lights shine together is essential. So as we gather, whether it's for coffee morning or for coffee with someone or on Zoom yet or wherever, let us be honest with one another about how we feel and what we need. I know I need a steadier hand when I'm holding this um, freestyle, but I hope that the fuzziness hasn't made you feel too unwell. The prayers today, the prayers are for you to consider who needs prayer within your family, in your social circle, in your church, or amongst your community. Who needs prayer in the world? Where are there shadows that need a light shone? And where there is, is there such horrible darkness that it needs the light of many of us? And not just a flash in the pan, but a continual light that will draw people to know of God, to learn of God for themselves, to find the source of light. It's from us, but it comes from God. So that if we're not around, or if we don't see, they will know that the light of the world, that Jesus Christ sees and knows and holds them. So let's pray and let's leave room for your prayers today. Lord, we give thanks for your light, the light of creation and the light in Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour. We give thanks that that light continues to shine no matter the darkness in this world and no matter the deep shadows in which so many live. So Lord, be with those. Be with people around us that we know who are struggling and be with those whom we don't know who need to see and perhaps even physically see that somebody cares. We pray for our world in turmoil and in chaos. So often it seems out of focus. Lord, help us, guard us and guide us and keep us day by day. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, it's Tuesday, the 7th of September, and it's Tuesday. Choose to get in touch with someone. Choose to share a smile. Choose to make this day all it can be better for someone. So make this a good Tuesday and choose to show your light. And we'll just trundle back through to, with these ladies to the Guild Coffee Morning and see how they're going. And we can all say, hello everybody out there. <laughs> Long time no see. You're on reflection and you're on the world view. So it's great to welcome everyone back into the church building and into 
some form of normality, masks or not. So I'll just leave you for a wee moment with the guild and they can all say everyone say bye bye nice to see you bye 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 everybody